All right, first test is a little bump that's made out of uh, wood chips. Okay, so I think what we've got going on here is that the inclines seem to really um, affect the dog with its object avoidance. It basically thinks that an object, an incline is an object to be avoided. So I'm turning off object avoidance and I'll try to walk with it now. Yeah, so that even that slight incline posed a problem to the dog it basically saw the inclined ground as an object to avoid. So if you're having the dog follow you and it's struggling to um, struggling to, to follow you in some inclined ground and stuff like that, just turn off object avoidance and it shouldn't have any trouble. If the incline gets a little steeper, you can turn it on to stair climbing mode and uh, it will do better in that way. But this is just a slight incline and uh, like I said, object avoidance prevented it from going, but it could do it when object avoidance was turned off. All right, this ground is muddy. So at the risk of getting my robot muddy, here we go. That didn't seem to pose a problem either. So there you go. I mean, is that really off-roading? Yeah, listen. Yeah, I got a $3,000 robot dog. I'm not going to destroy it, but I am going to take it for a little walk. I have uh, my follow beacon on me and uh, we're going to go down some paths in this little park. So we'll see how that goes. All right, from the last video, we learned that I like to use it in the faster walking mode, uh, mainly because it keeps up better. Um, and uh, so we're walking across some, let's say muddy, but not super muddy grass. And we're, uh, we're in a park, so we're going to go down some paths here. The dog doesn't seem to have any trouble following me. Want to go over there, bud? Got some roots. So now I have object uh, avoidance off. So it seems like it's doing okay. All right. <laughs> Made a funny noise. All right, we're going for some wood chips down here. I can't imagine they're going to give it any trouble. Here's what the path looks like. And here's us. Cooling out. Now, if I walk her off the edge of the path, how's she gonna do? She's okay. Can she come back over here? Yeah. Pretty good. All right, this is our first kind of serious obstacle that I think is gonna probably cause the dog to not do well. So I'm gonna walk on the other side of this thing. And see how it does. Oh, I'm a little surprised it did that. But uh, uh, what our goal, the dog and I's goal, is to pick up trash. So, oh, there's a little hole it's going to try to go through. So, I saw some trash. So, here we go. Now, when I pick up the trash, if I stand still, I like to pause the dog. So, I use the little joystick on the side controller to uh, to just freeze her in place and I can put this trash under here and then cinch it down now I'll stand next to her double click the walk follow button 
then we'll go over to a trash can. I saw one over there. So uh, I'll double click the follow button again. Oops. One. And there we go for the faster follow, which I like. So, there you go. So we're off doing our thing. We're going to build a little trash bucket for her back. And then we'll really be able to collect trash. I won't have to walk to the trash can all the time. this way. We're heading back on our hike. So, a good little trip. We uh, walked the length of a park in our town and uh, picked up all the trash. So, put it in the trash cans. Met uh, two people along the way and we're just going to go back. We, uh, the dog fell one time because I went off the path into the woods, kind of, and uh, got up pretty well. And it's been following great. So, I'm, uh, this thing's pretty good. Can't wait to put a trash barrel on its back and go pick up some trash.